Hey everybody and welcome to the tutorial. So I'll be showing you how to create this 3D text circle right here in After Effects. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is double click right here to, look, to open the circles in the vector file format. Then I'll import it as a composition. Then I open the vector layers. Hit Ctrl A to select all of the layers and right click and take create and create shape for vector layer. Then I hit Ctrl X to cut all of these layers. Ctrl A again and delete all of these illustrator file layers and I hit Ctrl V to paste them back. So right here, I'm going to name all of these layers so that I can work easily in After Effects. So after I'm done naming the layers, I'll start animating and I want to start animating with these cut out lines and I've named these lines the engine. So the first thing I'm going to do is to bring this cut engine right down to the last layer Then I select all of the, these layers and pull them behind because I don't want them to appear in the frame. Select the two layers, hit S from a scale, then I click on this icon to set the keyframes. Move 30 frames ahead by pressing Ctrl Shift and the front arrow key three times. Move 30 frames ahead. Set another keyframe here, go back to the previous keyframe and set this scale to zero. So after creating the keyframes, I'll select all of them and hit F9 to easy easy keyframes. Then I select this bottom key this bottom layer here and I hit shift arrow so that I'll maintain the scale keyframes and then I add another keyframe of rotation. Come to the end of this uh, scale keyframes, hit this stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Move 10 frames ahead. Then I set another keyframe. Move 10 frames ahead and send another keyframe, just like that. Then I come here right at the start and I set a rotation of 360. Move to the next keyframe and set another and set another rotation of negative 360. Come right here at the at this other one and set a rotation of 180. Then the last keyframe will be set at zero. So it will rotate something like this, and then select all of the keyframes again and hit F9 easy easy keyframes so where uh, the next one I want to animate is this color lines since I've already named the layer I'll just come here and look for it so it is a uh, cut regular I'm sure that's why I named the layer yeah so I bring it right at the bottom of my composition I bring it down at the bottom of my composition here bring it somewhere around here what I'm going to do is to add a trim path to it so I come down here add trim path Come here and add an end keyframe. Move uh, 20 frames ahead by pressing Ctrl Shift and the right arrow key twice. Set another keyframe. Come to the start and bring this down to zero. Go to the end and set it to 100. What I'm going to do again is to come at the center of these keyframes and put a keyframe of 50 of 100 also. Then I change this value here to zero. And then create another keyframe of a hundred. So you animate something like this, and then select all of the keyframes and hit F9 to easy easy keyframes. I want to animate this circle here, and to do that, I'm sure I named it regular, which is this first line here. Bring it down, then we will start somewhere around here. Add a trim path to it. Come right here and I set an end path 20 frames ahead set another keyframe come back to the start and then I bring this down to zero move ahead so you just animate in like that hit F9 to easy easy keyframes but the next circle for me to animate will be this uh, circle here the bold circle bring it down also put this in so here I'll also give it a trim path come down here go to add trim path then I add an end trim path, move 20 frames ahead, and then set this to zero. So let all of the keyframes, I hit F9 to easy, easy keyframes. Everything just animates in like this. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to select another circle to animate. And for this, I'm going to animate these two outer lines. And I'm, the outer circle here, let's see, here, yeah, this one, we we'll bring it in also. Bring it, bring a keyframe right here, or let's say uh, bring it again closer. Then I give it a rotation, hit arrow for rotation, 
set my keyframe here move move 20 frames ahead set another keyframe here go to the start and set a, and set a rotation of 270 so you rotate in like this then select all of the keyframes I hit F9 to easy easy keyframes select this outer cut circle which is the cutout lines this outer line here bring it in also and pull it down so that everything will be in order come here put them at the same position press R again for rotation set the first keyframe move 20 frames ahead set another keyframe here go to the start and, and put a rotation of negative 270 select all the keyframes I hit F9 to easy ease them so the two animate in like this then the next thing i'm going to do again so so far i've animated all of these circles the circles that are left are these inner circles these three circles and these three dots and to do that i'll first of all select all of the circles here these are the circles here i bring them down i bring them in right here and to animate them i'll use the trim path with all of the circles selected i'll bring down this out i'll bring it down add trim path and I also added an end trim path, move 20 frames ahead, set another keyframe here, go to the start and bring it down to zero. Copy all of these keyframes here by pressing Ctrl C. You select these two layers and paste them there. I come to the first circle here, bring this down and change the offset and put something about two, negative 270. Then the middle one, I'll change the offset to 180 degrees. So that they will animate differently or they will start differently then come to the last one and i'll just allow this offset just like this at zero select all of these keyframes hit f9 to easy easy keyframes i pull this in more so that they will animate randomly so what i'm going to do now i'm going to animate the dots and to animate these dots i can see that all of these dots have their own lines in which they fall on the first thing I'm going to do is to adjust all of these dots to animate accordingly with their respective circles. So this first circle here, which is this large one here, and this dot here, I named it as, let's see, let's locate this dot. Okay, this dot here is uh, the first dot. Oh, let's see, okay, dot two. So I'll bring it right here. Position it here come to this second layer which is I'm sure will be the second line here and I bring this in also come here to the last one and I bring this in so let's just bring this let me see select these two layers and bring them in just like this so animate all of these dots I'll create a null object and set a rotation to it so they will rotate a random also and to do that I'll go to the layer new and take new object I'll take a null object sorry Cut this by pressing Alt and the and the left square bracket so that they'll be aligned like this. Hit R for rotation, set a rotation of 270, set a keyframe, move 20 frames ahead, set another keyframe and change the value here to zero. Come at the start, select all of my keyframes, I hit F9 to easy ease them. Select all of these dots and then I'll pick whip them to this null object so all of them will follow the same rotation just like this so far let's see what we've done from the start so all of the rotation and all of these text circles will rotate just like this so to just let me just make a slight adjustment by pulling these other keyframes behind again so that they will flush at the end select all of these and select this just bring them behind at the end like that at the end then i pull this behind a little just like this okay so we have something rotating like this so far so good i think everything is working smoothly now at least we have the, the basic rotations that we need let me come back to the original composition also the original animation and see what it looks like so we can see that we have some kind of 3d rotation stuff going on here and to create that i'll select all of my keyframes by hitting ctrl a and i press u to collapse everything down so i'll come here to layer new and then i'll take camera allow all of these basic settings like this hit ok to create a camera i hit ok and then come to view and i take two views horizontal so i'll split the screen like this i'll hit p position 
come to the very end of this timeline and set another position keyframe i'll hide this camera icon then select all of these layers and make it 3d if you cannot see this 3d icon you just click on this toggle here which will toggle the layers to either the 3d mode which you can activate here okay so right now i'll move this timeline ahead and you see this line here this line indicates all of the all of these layers on a 3d view now i want to change the position of these layers so that the camera will walk through all of them 3d touch to it and to do that i'll come at the bottom of this first layer and i pull this down just like this and i'll do this for every layer so that it will appear as the camera passes through them just bring this timeline again so that i'll see every layer that i'm working with move to this third layer and bring it down just like this Alright, so everything is now distributed accordingly in the layer. So I'm going to unhide my camera and then in the first keyframe, I'm going to position the camera at the very at the very top, just around here. Come to the last keyframe and bring this at the very bottom. Well I like it here. Yeah, I'll allow the camera right here. Come to the very first keyframe, select all of my keyframes again and hit F9 to easy easy keyframes. With the animation appearing like this i come to the very start select my camera and when i click on this i can see that i have some two handles which i can adjust the camera movement and anywhere i position this handle is how the this is the path in which the the camera will fly through these objects so if i change the adjustment of these handles this is how the camera will pass through all of these objects so i'll change it to an edge to an s shape in which the objects will, will be displayed then I come again and I hit play to see how it animates in. It's good. I think I like it just like this. Mm -hmm. Looks good. So what I'm going to do again is to right click here, take new composition and I, and I name it tech, tech circle. Just like this. Change this to one view. Then I import this uh our animation here select this and i also change it to 3d view hit arrow for rotation come to the y axis go to the y rotation set a keyframe and change this to 90 hit enter and then come to this very end of the composition and set another y rotation of zero hit the enter then Select all of the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. Let's see what we have here. I can see the thing, I can see the animation delays right here before it appears on the screen, or right here even. So I'm going to come to this very to this animation, set a keyframe here. Then I pull, I delete this first keyframe and I bring this in where the animation begins. Come right here again. And let's see how it looks like right now okay let me see okay so i'm just going to make some light adjustments in this uh, camera here i'll change this handle to face like this and this other handle to be like this to change the direction in which the animation gets into the into the screen so something like this yeah i'm sure this will look good or you can play around with these uh rotations to see what kind of animation you can come out with but for this tutorial i think i'm just going to allow it like this this looks really cool so that's it for the tutorial hope you like it guys and if you do please you can like the video and also subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this because i release tutorials every week which i'm sure you don't want to miss them and i'll talk to you guys in the next video thanks for watching